and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another Get the Look, my vlogger series that I created here. This is episode three, which I'm super excited about today's episode. I know I say that in every video, but I truly am very excited. And today's episode is on Alyssa Rose, who I love. And if you don't know who she is, she is a YouTuber, of course. This is my YouTuber series, of course. So I guess if I could describe her channel, I guess she makes like lifestyle and vlogs videos, sometimes a beauty video, but mostly I would describe her channel as like lifestyle and vlogs, which I love. I love her channel so much. And I actually found her channel around Playlist Live time this year and I started watching all her videos and I love them, seriously. Like she actually reminds me a lot of myself, which I said in the video, like I don't know how like she reminds me of myself. I don't know, I just feel like we're pretty similar and everything. I don't know, she's from New York, I'm from New York. We're from two different parts of New York, but we're both from New York, so that's cool. I just really want to create her looks. I really like her look and I love watching her vlogs, so I had to create hair look next. Plus I'm chop my hair off next so I didn't want to do it with shorter hair so I decided to create her look while I have the chance with this somewhat lobbish kind of long hair. It's not really long hair but it's it's a length. I don't know how to describe it but yeah I feel like I wasn't as chit chatty as I usually am in these videos but I wasn't today. I don't know why. I don't know what was wrong with me but I wasn't. But it's still a look and I still love this video. I love how it turned out and everything and I love this look. I did like a coppery like reddish toned almost type look. I saw on Alyssa's channel she did like a everyday makeup routine last year and she did like some type of look like this so I decided to create something like this and I feel like her look is very natural but she can go like bolder on the eyes but with still looking natural which I really love and I feel like her look is actually pretty similar to mine so it wasn't really hard to recreate any of these looks. I try to make them as easy as possible so anybody can recreate them. You can know nothing about makeup. You can know everything about makeup everybody can recreate these looks and everything and yeah like I said I love Alyssa's channel so definitely I will leave her link down below so you can go subscribe to her definitely to go subscribe and say that I sent you and yeah I'm really excited to get into this look like I do in every look I did a makeup look a hair look and an outfit kind of went off the theme with the outfit but you'll see that when it comes to that part of the video but yeah I really love this Alyssa look so yeah if you're excited about this look and you're excited to see how it turns out or how I get the look and stuff like that you're in the right place just keep on watching okay so on to the makeup I'm super excited to be creating Alyssa's look and everything doing her look and everything I don't know everything I'm gonna do so far we're gonna start off with the base and we'll get right into it okay so I do know that Alyssa does have like dry skin and so do I so that works out perfectly so I'm gonna use the NYX Hydra Touch primer base as my primer this is just really moisturizing honestly almost feels like water sometimes so I'm just gonna apply this to my face I think it's pretty comparable to the Too Faced one the Too Faced hang over our X, which I really like. So I'm just gonna apply this to my face to hydrate it and it feels so good. Okay, so next I wanna add a little bit of glow to my skin because I have dry skin. I also saw Alyssa do this in one of her like makeup tutorials. It might've been from last year, but I don't know. I looked at a hundred pictures and I'm just trying to create the look. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Scrubbing Liquid by Face Studio. This is their illuminating highlighter and this is in light. I don't love this. I'm trying to use it up though. So I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna apply it to my face like so. Taking a little bit to start off. I'm gonna go on the high points of my face. You can also like mix it in with foundation if you don't want to go this route, if you know what I mean. If you wanna like do it a different way, Skoda is dreaming over there. So I'm gonna start by putting it on the high points of my face first and then just blending it with my fingers. I could go wet my sponge, but I'll do that in a second here. So yeah, it adds like a glow under my skin skin but it's not like whoa and I don't like the coloring of this that much like I kind of prefer something that's more like skin tone looking but for today this is fine so for my foundation today I don't have the ones that I saw Alyssa use in her video but I'm gonna just gonna use something similar it's gonna work with my skin tone you don't really need the same foundation to create the same look you can really just use whatever foundation you want so I'm gonna use the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream in an illumination it just looks like this and the way I like to apply this is kind of weird. I like to 
pump like a pump on my finger i guess it's not like too weird but like it's like weird how it melts into my skin this way so I like to just take it with my finger and apply it everywhere i just feel like it melts into my skin better and sometimes this shade is kind of off when i like don't do this so i'm just gonna pat it on my skin with my finger then i'm gonna take this it cosmetics it brushes for all the smoothing airbrush foundation brush and just blend it into my skin like so this foundation gives like a natural glow but it also gives you like that full coverage that you want and Alyssa does have like beautiful skin but I want to like obviously go for that full coverage okay so for concealer I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape everybody loves this so I'm just gonna use this and I know Alyssa does use this or at least from the videos I've seen she uses this so I'm just gonna put it under my eyes and you don't really need too much because it's so thick but mine's running out so I feel like I'm not getting as much out if you know what I mean so yeah just gonna apply this under my eyes and a triangle it might seem like I'm applying a lot but really it's not too much you know and I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge so it gets better just a little bit of my nose and on the high points of my face to highlight so like also in the center of my forehead my chin cupid's bow chin I don't know why I said chin cupid's bow whatever just applying this and it's also gonna even out the foundation so I kind of just apply it wherever okay so I just dampened my sponge and now we're gonna blend out I usually start from my chin and then I blend kind of like all over so I love using a sponge to like blend over it because we're also blending over the foundation so it kind of makes the foundation look more natural and I find that like when Alyssa like when I see her makeup it doesn't really like look like she's wearing makeup it kind of looks very natural so that's the kind of look that we're trying to do today I love these videos by the way like I'm having so much fun filming them I like kind of invented this series a couple months ago I've kind of made it my own like obviously other people have done like it looks on youtubers but I feel like I'm doing it in a different way because I'm trying to like expose people to new youtubers like my favorite youtubers but also youtubers I feel like more people need to be talking about and just youtubers that I love I don't know like how to put words to it but yeah just blending and I go over my whole face and blend it then too like I just blend over my whole face to give it that natural look and I do this every day for my routine if you've seen any of my makeup tutorials from like this year or even maybe last year you know I love taking a sponge over my face even when I use a brush because it just like takes away any of excess product okay so that's the base I really like how it looks it just looks so natural so next I am going to set for that I'm just gonna use my tart this is the smooth operator powder and everything I just like to set my face and my under eyes just with the sponge so like it's kind of messy but I'll take it and I'll kind of like just the powder everywhere. It's kind of like messy. So I'm just gonna set with this, kind of set my face. So I'll go like on my nose. I don't like to set like too heavily so that's why I do use a sponge instead of using like a setting brush and I just like to pass this into my skin and if you have pores this powder is great to like get rid of them and then to see if it's like set I usually like to go on my forehead or like just go on my face and feel my face and it feels pretty set but I want to set my forehead a little bit more okay so next I'm gonna go on to my eyes I already like primed them and everything for like the eyeshadow now I have like a couple different looks in mind but I don't now I think I'm gonna go for the more basic look because I do know that like she did like a look for her everyday makeup using like a coppery toned color I'm like trying to decide what I want to do but I literally don't know I think I'm gonna do the bolder look because it is a video and I don't want it to be too basic where you're just like oh my god this is so boring I don't really need to set my lid but I do want a base so I'm gonna take this color called crepe and I'm gonna put this into my like just my whole lid so I'm gonna take it on my whole Little lid from lid crease to brow bone and I'm just going to be setting my lid like so by the way I'm using the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette which I really love as my transition I'm gonna take toffee which is like a warm brown brown color and I'm gonna go into the crease with that just you know sloppily it doesn't need to be neat or precise yet we'll blend it and everything but I'm just gonna start off with this shade kind of going in the outer corner fading 
shaking it out and then going inner. And I love this palette because it is very nice for like beginners and stuff. And I, I think I have the basics down and I know what I'm doing with eyeshadow, but sometimes I just need something, you know, to go back to basics and anybody needs this. And I like Alyssa's makeup because it is, like I said, very natural. And I feel like it looks like she put in an effort, but it doesn't look like she tried too hard, which is kind of the look I love going for. So I'm gonna take the color Pecan to just spice up the makeup, but mainly just to add more to the lid. I just want it to be like, add more depth. So I'm gonna take Pecan, I'm gonna start it on the outer corner of my eye and then just drag in. This is gonna add depth to our eyes and just make our eyes really pop. Now I'm gonna take Cider and Kaba and mix those together and put them on our lids. I'm gonna start with these and then if I feel like it needs something more, I will like apply something else. I'm just gonna take it on this brush. It's like a flat brush. So Cider and Kaba kind of mixing the two. So I take the NYX glitter glue and I just place it on the base of my lid. So like wherever I want like that base shade to be, like the, you know, shimmery shade. And I will just blend it out. I don't really use a primer. I just use this for my base shade. And this is just gonna make it tacky. So the shadow is really gonna cling to this and it's gonna add more pigmentation, which we want. Even if you're going for the most natural look, you want this. So now we're gonna go back onto that lid. See how much pigmentation you get just from putting on a little bit of glitter glow. Like it's so perfect. See, so much pigment, so much beauty. And we're just gonna keep these colors like on the base of our lid. We're gonna go up to the crease, but not going into the crease. And look how pretty those are. Okay, so now I want something that's more like red, how she has like in her profile picture on YouTube or like, I don't know, whatever you would call that. So I'm gonna go in with this copper from the Carly Bible Original Palette. And I believe they have a shade like this in like almost every palette, or Urban Decay. Just any palette has a color like this. Pretty much. Yeah, so I'm gonna apply this over my lid all the way kind of over. Okay, yes, we're getting that look that I really wanted, like that redness to it. So now I'm just gonna take a super fluffy brush and go back in with toffee and we're gonna blend the edges. So we're gonna blend in the crease, the outer corner, and we're really just gonna make sure that it's blended. We're even gonna go up further with it and stuff. We just wanna make sure everything is blended. And then we're gonna take it with that same brush we used before and we're gonna just be sure to diffuse everything. I take these looks very seriously and if you've seen any of my get the looks you would know that. So now I'm just gonna wipe away that fallout because it looks crazy. To add darkness on the outer corner I'm gonna take walnut and then hickory and I'm just gonna apply this to like my outer corner outer V. So yeah just applying this to the very outer corners of my eyes to add depth to the eyes. Excuse my animals. So we're gonna take that coppery shade and go on the lid one more time with our finger because that's how you get the best pigmentation and then just gonna blend everything one more time and yeah i really like how that looks out okay so now back to the face we're gonna go to the face then go back to the eyes i know i do my makeup in a weird way do your makeup how you want to but this is how we're creating the look today so i'm gonna go in with some bronzer now and use the tarte parquet princess bronzers is just you know like a warmth bronzer i guess we could call it and i feel like Alyssa does like contour and bronze so that's what we're gonna do just applying it around the perimeters of my face so cheekbone and then my forehead so kind of just around my forehead and i will blend this don't you worry it looks crazy right now but later it'll look good and then on the sides of my nose i'm just using the same brush this side of my face and then i'm gonna go a little bit down my neck just to blend everything and then i'm just gonna take a kabuki brush and just blend everything out because it's a little insane right now just a little bit so now i'm gonna go into blush and again using something from tarte totally not planned but it's just what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use a tarte amazonian clay blush and parte it's like a nude color which i believe and i think Alyssa usually goes for like a nude type blush so that's what we're gonna do and if you're gonna get any blush from tarte i would recommend this one it's so pretty okay so now for highlight i'm gonna take the becca cosmetics champagne pop highlight i feel like everybody has this highlight so i feel like it makes small sense and i just feel like it would look good with this look and i feel like Alyssa has worn this before i feel like i've seen it in her video maybe not maybe i'm thinking somebody else or maybe i'm just dreaming i have no idea so i'm just gonna apply this to the center of my 
face. I highlight everywhere with dry skin, but also I just love to highlight. I love to glow. My mom laughed at me when I said that one day that I love to glow. I'm like, mom, please. Then I'll go on my cheekbones and I'll also drag it up to the inner corner sometimes. Like if I don't feel like using like another highlight, if you know what I mean. And I really pack this on. So there's the highlight. So for the eyes, I'm gonna take tall and I'm gonna use that as my highlight just on the inner corners of my eyes. This is just gonna really brighten them up and also highlight, which we love. We love a good old highlight. Okay, so now for brows. I know Alyssa does fill hers in and I do to a certain extent, but not really because I do have pretty natural thick brows as you can see. So I think she fills hers in with a powder, but I don't really need to do that. So I just take my Essence Make Me Brow and I just wipe off any excess and then I brush my brows up and you can fill out in your brows how you want to but I just kind of brush them out and I feel like I'm kind of creating almost her shape but also kind of going with my own by doing this okay so those are my brows I really like them and that's how I do that okay so now I'm gonna go on to lips and everything and Alyssa usually goes for like a nude color I feel like whenever I see her videos I always see her wearing some type of nude so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take bite beauty honeycomb which is my favorite nude looks so good for my skin tone and it's also like a pretty creamy lipstick so now I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna apply mascara in a second but I do want to set my face because I don't really need that for mascara or anything like that so I'm just gonna use my Milani make it dewy to bring like the dewiness back into my skin which I love so yeah Now I'm just gonna dry myself off. Another thing you can do is take your sponge and go right over your face. And this kind of just makes it even more natural than it already was, which I love. So for mascara today, I'm gonna use my Essence Lash Princess. My favorite mascara, this is like the False Eyelash Effect Mascara. It's literally $4, go pick it up. It is so good. Like one of the best mascaras out there in my opinion. And I've tried a ton of mascaras. So I'm just gonna use this on my top lashes. Don't know if I'm gonna do bottom lashes just because I do get like irritated when I do my bottom lashes. We'll see, but yeah, I'm gonna apply this to my top lashes. I love this mascara because it just like makes them look so fake and we really want to get like, you know, the best lashes we can get. We really want those really fake looking lashes. I don't wear fake eyelashes. <laughs> Okay, so I put on bottom mascara and it look, feel like it looks so weird on me. I don't know why. I just feel like it always looks so weird. Like, look. And yeah, that's the finished makeup. I really do like it. I seriously love it. Love how it looks. Looks so glowy and just, just the perfect makeup and the perfect start of the look for Alyssa. So now we're going to get right into the hair. Okay, so now on to the hair. I'm just going to talk through this for the most part. My straightener just went off. So yeah, we're going to straighten our hair today because I feel like Alyssa so just has very like straight hair. I think she might straighten her hair. So there's that. And I do have pretty straight hair, but for the most part, I just want it to be like even straighter. So we're gonna do that. So I'm just gonna start by taking it out of this ponytail and now we're gonna brush it out. And I just washed it last night, but it just, why does it feel weird? I don't know, just, and yes, look, it does look pretty straight, but I just want it to be like more smooth and just even straighter than it can be. So first we're gonna just take the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave in conditioning spray just to heat protect brushing that through my hair okay so the straightener is heated up so we can just go ahead and go on and straighten our hair so I'm just gonna take it by sections and straighten the hair and it's straightening my hair doesn't take long it takes like five to ten minutes so I'm just gonna do that and everything just to get Alyssa's straight hair like when she does have it like straighter I guess and I prefer to straighten my hair than curl it but I am gonna be cutting my hair soon so I'm excited to see like the, vid the videos I do when I do cut it I love Alyssa's video Videos. She reminds me a lot of myself and everything. I don't know. She just does in a little way and I just love watching her vlogs I like how her channel is like a variation of videos which kind of reminds me of mine because I do like beauty and lifestyle And hers is like I guess beauty lifestyle vlogs, which I like I do have a vlog channel if You didn't know link is always down below, but yeah, I love her videos. I just love variations I don't know. I prefer channels that are variations rather than if they're just one thing if you know what I mean I don't know. I just love a good old variation because no Nobody is just one thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so now I'm gonna straighten my hair, give you a little montage. <laughs> Okay, 
so I just finished off straightening my hair and I really love how it looks. I feel like I almost got the full look. We're almost there. Yeah, now we're gonna go on to the outfit, which I'm super excited for. I don't have an exact, like an exact match, but we're gonna kind of just go off like a theme like I did for my last one. If you didn't see that, all my previous ones will be linked up in the cards. Okay, so now on to my outfit. So for my outfit, I told you I was just gonna go off themes and everything and that's for my outfit. So I kind of searched through Alyssa's Instagram and kind of found a theme and kind of found things in my closet that were similar. So this is the look that I ended up coming up with. So I just had this romper on and that's from Old Navy. And then I decided to tie like a flannel around my waist because in a lot of her pictures, even if she's wearing a romper or whatever, she's wearing some type of jean jacket or flannel around her waist. And mine is from American Eagle. And yeah, I love this outfit because it's very basic and it goes with the whole book, but it's not like it needs to be a certain way, if you know what I mean. Okay, so that's the finished Alyssa Rose Get the Look. I really enjoyed this episode three of my vlogger series here on YouTube, my Get the Look vlogger series. I still don't have a permanent name for it, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. I don't know, I kind of like Get the Look vlogger series. I kind of like that name. It's kind of sticking, this being episode three, but we'll see if I ever change the name, we'll see. But I really hope you enjoyed it. I really love how this look turned out, like I said in the intro, and I just love Alyssa. So definitely go subscribe, like I already said. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below any people you want me to see me, anybody's look who you want me to steal or create next. Let me know whose look I should create next down below. I'd love to hear about it. And also please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know other videos you'd like to see next. And also please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week. I try to post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the summertime. And I usually post around 9 or 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look. Like I said, probably 50 times. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Turn on your notifications before I go. I have to say that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!